Hey, what's the deal with jack-o'-lanterns? Hi, I'm Stu Edelstein, author of An Alphabetical Romp Through the Flora of Berkshire Botanical Garden from Agave to Zinnia. Jack-o'-lantern for the carved pumpkin derives from Irish folklore. Jack was a stingy, miserable old drunk who played tricks on family, friends, and even the devil. One day, he tricked the devil to climb a tree, then placed crosses around the trunk so the devil could not get down. Jack made the devil promise not to take his soul when he died. When Jack died, the devil kept his promise and St. Peter denied him entrance to heaven, so Jack had nowhere to go. He had to wander about forever in the darkness between heaven and hell. Jack asked the devil how he could live with no light. The devil tossed him a live coal from the flames of hell to help him light his way. Jack placed it in a hollowed out turnip, and since that day, Jack has roamed the earth without a resting place. Irish villagers once found their way through the dark of late autumn by the light of a lantern made from a turnip, beet, or other vegetable. On All Hallows' Eve, our Halloween, the Irish hollowed out turnips, rutabagas, gourds, potatoes, and beets, and placed a candle in them to ward off evil spirits and keep Jack away. These were the original jack o' lanterns. Other Halloween traditions derived from Irish folklore. The Irish believed that on Halloween, spirits of the dead leave the grave and seek out the warmth of their previous homes. Fearful villagers dressed up in costumes to scare them away and left food and other treats at their doors to appease them so the spirits would not destroy their homes or crops. These traditions give fresh meaning to trick or treat. Did you make this yourself? This morning. You did? I did. That's what I looked like as a kid. I still look like that.